Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. My name is Blaze Redemption and today what I have for you guys is another Call of Duty World War 2 video. In today's video guys, we're going to be talking about the best class setup for the M1928, I believe it is called the Thompson. And uh, yeah, we're going to be talking about, you know, pretty much what's the best attachments and stuff like that for you. So if you guys do enjoy, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Hit the notifications bell to stay updated and I will see you guys in the video. Peace. What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video my name is blaze redemption and today what i have for you guys is another call of duty world war 2 video in today's video guys we're going to be talking about the best class setup for the thompson that's the m1928 in call of duty world war 2 so without further ado if you guys do go to enjoy today's video don't forget to drop a like it'll be greatly appreciated we're going to be shooting for 40 likes in today's video also subscribe you guys to brand new and do enjoy the content and last but not least if you guys want to stay updated with all the videos and live streams don't forget to hit that notifications bell down below so you can stay updated and let's go ahead and jump straight into this so like i said guys we're gonna be talking about the best class setup for the thompson although i wasn't using exactly the class setup that i'm gonna be giving you guys you know this class setup right here that i'm gonna be telling you guys about is absolutely the best class for the thompson so moving on we're gonna be talking about a little bit of the pros and the cons guys we're gonna talk about you know what's good about the weapon what's bad about the weapon and what could potentially change the weapon to make it a little bit better than what it already is so first and foremost, the one thing that I do like about this weapon, the first thing is the firing rate. This is the first weapon of all the submachine guns that I absolutely did not have to put a rapid fire attachment on, which is pretty good because all the other submachine guns, you know, they seem like they aren't as dominant in up close gunfights because like you run into somebody with a bar or you run into somebody with an STG or something like that, you can just easily get outgunned when they're using those two weapons. But this weapon right here, the Thompson guys, it literally melted people at medium and long range gun fights literally every single time with no issue moving on the next thing i do like about this weapon it has a pretty well balanced accuracy and well balanced recoil there's not too much of a recoil like i said it's not too much you know of a beamer at the same time it's just that perfect balance of a submachine gun i really do enjoy using this weapon it's one of my favorite submachine guns in the game and also guys like i previously stated guys this weapon is very good at close to medium range gunfight you guys should have no issue with getting those simple easy kills you know mapping somebody with three four shots anywhere on the body this weapon is very overpowered the next thing I do like about this weapon is the reload speed. It has a pretty good reload speed considering it's a submachine gun. And you know, for the most part, submachine guns both have good reload speeds. But it seems like some of these other submachine guns in the game, they take a pretty decent amount of time for them to reload. Which is quite unfortunate sometimes when you get into those high intense gunfights. Or if you're doing what I'm doing in today's video, you know, you just running around a sponge trying to get a trap down. It's kind of hard for you guys to not use the one perk that allows you to reload faster. Which is quite, you know, unfortunate. Also guys another thing I do like about this weapon is that it has a very fast time to kill and that pretty much probably comes from the fact that it has a very high firing rate it's only at a five damage which isn't too bad which isn't too good at the same time it's just right there in the middle balance but with there being such a high firing rate on this weapon pretty much makes this gun very overpowered because you're gonna be getting those kills quickly because of how fast the weapon is shooting 
Now the one thing I do not like about this weapon is that it has a very small mag size in comparison to the firing rate. I believe you only get 45 shots and I feel like you should be able to get at least 50 shots to 52 shots just like the PPSA so it'll be very helpful for getting those extra kills because like I said this weapon shoots extremely fast guys and if you're one of those type of people who like to put rapid fire on a weapon then it's going to make it a little bit hard for you to get those three piece kills without running out of ammo or just barely getting those three piece kills with the 45 bullets that they actually give you already. Now guys, we're going to be moving into the actual class setup that we were using today. You're going to be seeing this on screen right about now. The first attachment that I was using is going to be the foregrip. And guys, the reason I use the foregrip is because although this weapon has a pretty decent accuracy with the recoil and the firing rate on this weapon, it makes it a little bit easier for you to control it whenever you're using the foregrip. So that's why I like to use it. Now the class setup that you guys also are seeing on screen is not the class setup that I'm going to be giving you like I previously stated. I was trying to unlock the V2 rocket, so that is why I'm using the expeditionary class instead of of the other two divisions that I normally suggest you guys use but moving on also I was using the cinematic guys and the reason I'm using the cinematic like I previously stated guys is because this weapon runs out of ammo very fast guys very very fast it has a very high firing rate so the next attachments that I suggest you guys use and you know it depends on what type of person you are if you're gonna be rushing then go ahead and put on rapid fire I am not gonna be using rapid fire because like I said this weapon shoots very fast and also you guys can be using advanced rifling so that you can get those those longer range kills it makes it a little bit easier for you to get those kills moving on I was also using the machine pistolio that weapon is extreme level power and up close gunfights guys it's like a four shot kill anyone in body which is absolutely insane also guys we're using the s mine that's pretty much so I can put behind me when I'm in the spawn people tend to walk straight over those and don't even notice it and die this is easy simple kills one or two pieces depending on how many people are right there now guys, moving into the actual basic training division that we were using today, I was using Ordnance once again guys, and Ordnance pretty much allows you guys to get your score streaks at a cheaper cost, and it also allows you guys to reroll those care packages so you can get a better chance of getting a higher score streak than what you already have. Now guys, moving into the two divisions that I suggest you guys are going to be using, first you're going to be talking about the Airborne Division guys, and the Airborne Division is there, it pretty much allows you guys to put a suppressor on your submachine guns, it allows you guys to sprint for a longer distance which is pretty helpful for getting across the map. Map. It allows you guys to also climb over obstacles a little bit faster. And last but not least, your sprint speed is increased significantly whenever you're using this. Now, guys, the one that I like to use the most, the one that I really suggest you guys use more than any other division team, is going to be the infantry division. And the reason being is because the infantry division allows you to put a rifle bayonet on any assault rifle. So, say you don't want to play with the PPSH and you're playing with an assault rifle, you get a rifle bayonet, which helps for those up close to personal gunfights. You can knife somebody and continue on with your streak. It also allows you guys to get an extra mag and an extra attachment which is very 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 helpful so instead of having like 130 ammo or something like that you get like 200 and something which is pretty good because if you go on those long kill streaks you guys won't burn out of ammo also guys whenever you're using this it pretty much gives you stock allowing you guys to be able to stray faster whenever you're aiming down sights that is what stock is and with that being said guys that right there is going to pretty much wrap up my class setup i really do hope this class does help you guys let me know in the comment section down below what you guys actually thought about it also what you guys would put on the class that's differently from what i actually put on there if you guys are or something that's better than what I like to use and you know the game just came out so some of these class setups might not be completely accurate like months or weeks down the line you guys probably find better attachments so let me know in the comment section down below what you guys actually think about the class setup and things that nature right there also put hashtag blaze empire in the comment section down below if you guys have watched the video to this point so let me know who has been supporting the videos and who I need to direct my content towards you know that's what that's the grind is all about fam the hashtag blaze empire fam we're growing together very very close to 4,000 subscribers we literally just recently hit 3,800 subscribers guys and I'm so appreciative for you guys actually helping me achieve that goal that means the world to me also guys if you guys are brand new to the channel and you have not already subscribed go ahead and hit that subscription button so you guys can stay updated and see these very insane class setups and videos every single day also guys drop a like we're gonna be shooting for 40 likes it helps out a lot get the video up in the search engine so we can get more people over here watching at the blaze empire last but not least hit that notifications bell so you guys are updated with every single video on live stream with a push notification on your cell phone desktop you know tablet whatever you guys are watching from and with that being said that right there pretty much wraps up my video i hope you guys did enjoy i hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful day my name is blaze redemption and i will see you guys in the next video peace